Is humanity moral in the absence of religion or civil law? That's actually a very good question. And it was asked by a friend of mine called Michael, Mike, who goes by the YouTube username Navy Medic USMC. And of course, this video is a response to the video in which he asked that question. So go check it out and maybe give your own ideas, present your own ideas to him. Anyway, in his comment section, I explained to him that my short and simple answer to the question would be yes, but. And of course, I need to explain why, first of all, my answer is yes, and what the buts are in this answer. And that's what this video is about. So let me get to the first thing first. Why is my answer yes? And that's very simple, because when it comes to religion, the religion part of it, I observe, first of all, that there is no God, and I am a positive atheist. I'm not interested, by the way, in discussing that particular point of view that I hold with you at this juncture. If you, you are interested why I am so positive about this fact, then go and check out the videos that I've posted in the past on my position, uh, my videos about deatheism, and so on and so forth, in which I explain it all in much more detail. I'm not going to go there now. I just want to point out that there is no God, and therefore, it is clear to me that religion, as well as civil law, are both human inventions. And if they are both human inventions, and they are both based on a certain moral understanding, then to think that you need religion or civil law in order to be moral is clearly putting the cart in front of the horse. It is clear that such things would never have been invented if there wasn't a moral sense of some description pushing those things into existence. A moral sense that we possessed even before we invented religion, even before we created laws. So, if religion is a human construct and civil law is a human construct, then moral morality has to be a human property that already exists. If you are religious, by the way, and you are getting a little bit upset by this simple dismissal that is just presented here of your God, another way of looking at this might be to concern, to consider the moral codes of people from different religious backgrounds to your own. If you are a Christian, for example, look at the Hindus. They have a moral code, and if your God is the one true God, if you really believe that, then their moral code, their morality, came into being without the interference of your God, and therefore it must be innate. No matter how you look at it, it has to be an innate human attribute to have some sort of a moral sense. There is no way you can escape it, whether you do or don't believe in a God, and whether you do or don't believe that your particular religion was somehow handed down by God from above. Doesn't matter. The argument still remains the same and is still equally valid. So what is going on then? Because clearly it is not a hard and fast thing that informs our morality, because otherwise we would all agree on what's good and bad and what isn't. And we don't. So, why is that? Here is the thing. There is a big difference between having an actual moral sense to possess a moral instinct and to actually implement a moral code. You see, the difference there is that a moral instinct is akin to your language instinct. Human beings are born with the instinct in place that enables them to acquire a language by being exposed to it, by being exposed to people around them speaking that language. So that's how babies and infants pick up the language and start speaking it themselves. And the actual moral code that we adopt for ourselves is of a similar nature to the language we end up speaking in that regard. We have a moral, we have an innate moral sense, we have a moral instinct. We all have a sense of fairness. We all have a 
rudimentary sense of right and wrong. We feel bad when something, you know, painful happens to another person as a result of something we do. And we have a feeling, we get this gut feeling that we have done something wrong, as we call it. So we have this innate ability to come to certain moral judgments. What we don't have is a hard and fast moral code with simple rules that is baked into us from birth. That is something we have to learn as we grow up. And that is where the but comes in. That is where the but comes in when it comes to the question I answered. Is, moral, is humanity moral in the absence of religion or civil law? Yes, as I explained, but you see, we all have an innate moral sense, but depending on our circumstances, this crystallizes out into a moral code. And like I said, it depends on the circumstances, it depends on the company we keep, it depends on the society that we find ourselves in, it depends on the challenges that we meet as such a society and so on. And as human beings, we have to live with each other. So all these human beings are interacting with each other, all these human beings are integrating with each other and dealing with each other on a daily basis and being affected by each other's behavior. And we all look at the world slightly differently. We all have a sense of fairness, but we all disagree on what exactly is or isn't fair. We all have a sense of right and wrong, but not all of us agree of this specific thing being right and that specific thing being wrong. And that is why we still do need some sort of moral framework, like, for example, a religion or a civil law, to bring us all into agreement with the other people that we have to deal with on a daily basis in our society. That is why a law is important. Without a law, humanity wouldn't descend into anarchy, into a free-for-all, into a survival of the fittest, I don't think. But on the other hand, there would be an awful lot of dispute, there would be an awful lot of disagreement, and an awful lot of unnecessary strife. And in a society that is as large and as global as ours has become, we cannot afford to spend our time on this ceaseless bickering and therefore we implement a framework, we crystallize our sense of right and wrong out into actual laws that are applied to the circumstances that prevail today. That is why laws have to be flexible, that is why laws must be subject to revision and change on a regular basis, but that is also why laws have to be in place. We are not immoral without laws but they help us be better at being moral.